Hi there, it's Lindsay here. I really need to clean out my refrigerator and my freezer. And I'm hoping that I can get to both today. You may have seen it last week, but we did stock up on some groceries and we have a very small refrigerator. Anyway, we have a deep freeze. I wish we had a stand-up freezer, but that'll be for when we can actually put it in the house and take care of it. Right now it's out on the porch because that's the only space that we have for it. So what I'm gonna try to do today is clean out my refrigerator, try to capture a little bit more of that space in case there is something that we need to stop by and get at the grocery store this week. Uh, we did get a ton of groceries, so we may not even go this week, but I would like to have a little more space in the fridge so things don't start falling out every time we get in there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. So I didn't pre-clean anything before I showed you guys this. Uh, everything's dirty, even the outside of the refrigerator, but also the freezer. I've been making iced coffee for quite some time and I spilled it all over my freezer. So that's what all the nastiness is. It's not anything super gross, but it is coffee that refroze. I was in a rush, didn't want to clean it up, and I haven't since. And there's also some really nasty things in the fridge that need to be cleaned up. But that's what we're tackling today. That's why we're doing it right now. But I'm going to start by cleaning out everything in my door. That's usually where I keep all the condiments and then like our milk and orange juice. So I'm just going to clean all that out first. I empty everything, clean it, and then put it back in. Do you guys spot that can in my back pocket? Jason really likes to stick things in my back pocket and see when I'll notice. He knew I was filming, so he knew I was going to get that on film. But yeah, he's a little trickster. Started putting things back I went ahead and wiped things down because there was something that leaked some of the things were sticky so I just had a damp cloth that I was wiping everything down as I was putting it back for the big compartment I did grab a trash bag and kind of throw things out if they were expired or like leftovers that we definitely were not going to eat I went ahead and put those in the trash as I was cleaning the shelves in the fridge were pretty bad some things had leaked which they do that all the time I, I should probably get some press and seal and put on these so they'd be a lot easier to clean great tip I just didn't have any so I just cleaned them and dried them off and put them back in for now
the fridge, I just sprayed it down with some all-purpose cleaner and let it sit for a little bit and started on the less dirty areas. It was cold, so some of this was kind of stuck on, but after I let it sit for a bit, it came right up. You were my best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep spend And if you're wondering why we do have such a small fridge, when we first built the house and moved in, we only had solar as our power source. So this refrigerator is actually super, super efficient and will run off of our batteries. So that's why we have such a small fridge. We haven't wanted to get anything else because we're gonna have to change the entire kitchen setup. We'll have to get rid of some cabinets or replace some cabinets in order to fit a bigger fridge. So that's why we just have this small one for now. But in actuality, it really does hold quite a bit of food. These blue bins I got at the Dollar Tree and they still have them there in all different colors, but I just use them for my meat and dairy products. Since I only have one drawer and I use it for produce, it's really handy having these so I can kind of section off that stuff. It doesn't fly around the refrigerator. <laughs> my produce bin I usually keep a paper towel in the bottom of it or you know a few paper towels that way if something does go bad and leak in there it's a lot easier to clean up but that made this a quick cleanup having the paper towels under there top we just have drinks for easy access I've got some space up there also to defrost meat and on the second one we've got areas for our leftovers and then I've got a bin here for all of our lunch meats and then I've got a couple condiments on the bottom and a bin for all of our dairy which is cheese and butter and then I've got an area for fermented foods and these are just peach skins that I need to make jelly out of and then, of course, the produce bin holds all of our veggies that we have refrigerated. repeated the same process just took everything out of the door took the shelves out and I'll clean it and put it all back I do understand that I have a large collection of chocolate bars in the freezer and that's where I keep them is in the freezer because I like cold chocolate but sometimes when you just don't know what you want it's nice to have a variety so you can choose sometimes I like dark chocolate most of the time sometimes I want flavoring sometimes I don't <laughs> so that's why I have a huge assortment of chocolate To get all of the frozen coffee out I had to get some very hot water very hot soapy water and kind of scrub it out and then I got the water out slowly with a sponge so it was quite the process I've got it really sped up so it doesn't look like it took long but I'm gonna be a lot more careful at tipping that ice cube thing from now on because I don't want to clean up a mess like this again I feel like
and I was just gonna leave it like this and call it a day but then I was like yeah I should probably go ahead and replace the ice while I'm here so these ice cube trays I actually got at TJ Maxx for two dollars and ninety nine cents and I've had them for a long time, so they're kind of starting to break because of the way I've popped stuff out of here. But I'll link the Amazon versions below for you. But if you do have TJ Maxx around, it's a lot cheaper to get them at TJ Maxx. But it's a really nice big ice cube, perfect for the summertime, keeping those drinks cold. You're not going to see me clean the outside of this freezer even though it needs it. <laughs> I need to clean my porch soon and that'll be with that. But it is packed completely full. I did get these bins at Walmart to kind of help me organize this. I didn't really know how it was going to go so I brought, probably bought more than I needed. But I'm just going to start by again emptying it out because that's the best way to do it is just go ahead and empty it because you know you're going to have to anyway. Once I put the big bin in, I noticed that all of my meats that I've packaged myself will fit perfectly in between that and the little ledge that we have. So that's all of our wild hog that we got and deer, ground deer meat and sausage, all that fits perfectly in between that. So it's a great spot for that. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kinda like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are never backing down, backing down, backing down. That's what I like about you. So dangerous. I get this rush when I'm with you. love to have a stand-up freezer as long as it's inside where I can take care of it. This freezer we've had for a long time and we're kind of just getting by. It is on the porch which is not ideal but it's the only space that we have for now but once we extend our living space we'll definitely be able to add in some space for a stand-up freezer which I'm really really excited about. of ignorant. 
don't care what people say. Okay, so this doesn't look a ton better, but at least now I know where everything is and I know what we need to eat out of here to get it looking better. So let me give you a little tour. We got our some of our processed foods here, all of our meat here. This pie shell, I have nowhere else to put it right now. So right there, I'll find something to do with that. And then I've got my blackberries that I'll be processing this week, so I left those up at the top. Underneath this meat crate is another crate full of frozen fruit. So I need to get to that. I've got some of our frozen bread items here, and then a lot of our veggies here. And then I can move this and I have access to some more uh, processed foods or quick foods and then uh, more veggies under there. And up here I have some more blackberry juice that I'll get to this week with my jellies. I've got my ice packs for my migraines and the kids have easy access to these popsicles. So what I suspected was true is that we have a ton of food in the freezer that we need to get to eating on. Something in my aunt all day long. But yeah, we've got a lot of food in there that needs to be eaten and a lot of options. A lot more options than I thought. I just knew it was down in there. I just didn't know what exactly was in there because I haven't cleaned it out since this past winter. I usually don't clean it out in the summer, but as much as we're preserving food and you know, bulking up on food. I really needed to get that cleaned out so I knew what we had space for. We have space for nothing. So we're definitely going to have to eat a lot of that in the freezer. So that's what we're gonna be working on. That's the point, isn't it? Eating out of the freezer for the next month or so, trying to empty that out a little bit. So we definitely don't need to go to the store for a long time, except maybe for some condiments or something, but really we've got a lot of food in there. I don't wanna to go to the store. Me either. I don't want to leave the property. Me either. <laughs> like, can y'all just come Crazy see people. me? <laughs> so thank you for watching today. Um, maybe check on those fridges and freezers and see what's going on there. See if you need a clean out. I know that I certainly did and I feel a lot better now that it's done. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I know there's like 50% of you that watch who are not subscribed. So if you haven't, subscribed yet consider doing it it's completely free just hit that subscribe button and that notification bell will let you know when i post a new video but i'll see you in the next one bye